Rex, did you do it? Accused serial killer Rex Hureman sits in a Long Island jail cell held without bail. The three times that I've visited his housing unit, he was laying on his bunk, he was not watching TV, uh, twice he was sleeping and once he had his um, eyes open just looking at the ceiling. His wife, Asa Ellerup, has filed for divorce, according to her attorney. They were married when investigators say he killed three young women and disposed of their bodies on Gilgo Beach over a decade ago. Hureman pleaded not guilty to the charges. Ellerup's DNA is at the center of the case. The prosecutor says the 59-year-old's hair was found at the crime scene, but she has not been charged. Police believe Ellerup was traveling when Hureman murdered his victims, according to court documents. Investigators have not stopped since the arrest and are casting a wide net, looking for evidence and possible links to unsolved cases. In Las Vegas, where Hureman owns property, and at this home in South Carolina, owned by a family member, where authorities seized Hureman's Chevrolet Avalanche, the car described by a witness all those years ago that was key to cracking the case, according to the DA. And in New Jersey, authorities say they are specifically looking at the 2006 eastbound strangler case. The bodies of four women who worked in the sex trade were discovered in a drainage ditch. The killer never found. Stephanie, it sounds like they're looking for potentially additional charges, but right now he's already facing life behind bars if convicted. Yeah, he is, Lester, but keep in mind that there were 11 bodies found in that Gilgo Beach area. That's 11 families looking for resolution or eight families looking for resolution. And clearly there are police departments who wonder if they have unsolved cases that actually might show to have a connection with Hureman. It's about those families. All right, Stephanie Goss, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.